Today, we're going to learn how to webcast a video deposition, but these techniques will work with any kind of meeting or event that you want to stream onto the web. In addition to a good internet connection, you only need three things. You'll need a microphone. This table mic will work for a single witness or small group around a table. You will need a digital video camera or webcam and a laptop computer. To connect the digital camera, you will use its FireWire port, also called the DV port. Plug the other end of the FireWire cable into the computer's FireWire port. Note that there are two different sizes of FireWire plugs, so be sure your cable has the right size plug on each end. Webcams usually use the USB port, but it works the same way. If your computer doesn't have a FireWire port, you can use one of these cards plugged into its card slot. If you're running Windows, you will probably get a pop-up asking what you want to do now. Just select Take No Action and click OK. You may have a microphone built into your computer, but it's best to use an external mic because the closer the mic is to the witness, the better sound quality you will get. Also be sure the mic is centrally located between the participants and close to the witness. You'll get the best results with individual lavalier mics for each participant all connected to a microphone mixer. In that case, you will need an audio interface like this one from Behringer. Just plug the line output of your mixer into the audio input of the interface and the firewire output of the interface into your computer. A hardwired internet connection at your webcasting location will give you the best result, but you should always carry a mobile broadband card so that you can provide your own internet connection in a pinch. This one has saved the day for me many times. Once all the hardware is connected, you're ready to go online and do an actual webcast. You will normally access the broadcast console through a private web page assigned to you by depositionwebcast.com. If you don't have your private page yet, you can just use the test channel. Instructions for accessing the test channel are at depositionwebcast.com slash test. The first thing you will see after accessing your broadcast console is a flash pop-up asking to access your camera and microphone. Of course you allow that, that's why we're here. Now you should see video from your camera in the console. To the right of the video is the message panel from the streaming server. This lets you know when you are connected to the server and when you go on and off the air. Here is the control button to start the broadcast, but before we do that, you should check the broadcast controls. First make sure both video broadcast and audio broadcast are checked unless you have some specific reason for only broadcasting one or the other. You should see activity on the sound meter. You can adjust the volume up or down with its controller, but try to set the level so you always see some green, but seldom see orange, and hardly ever see red. The red means the sound is close to distorting, and since you won't hear the sound in the broadcast console, you must keep an eye on this meter. If you don't have sound or video in your console, most likely your problem is here in the source selectors. You see my Panasonic camera is the selected video source, and here my computer sound card, which has the microphone plugged in, is the audio source. If you have multiple video or audio devices, be sure the correct one is selected. If there are no devices listed, then your computer doesn't recognize them. You may have to reinstall the drivers or even use a different device. On the bottom right of the console are video and audio quality controls. They should be all the way to the right for the best broadcast quality. Lowering these controls reduces the bandwidth, which is useful in case you're on a slow internet connection. Now you can click the start button to begin your webcast. You should see a message from the streaming server that you are on the air. Now to test your webcast. If you click away from the broadcast console, your webcast will end, so be sure to open a new browser window before visiting any other web locations. There is a link near the bottom of the console that opens the webcast viewing page safely in another window. You can see the viewer in the upper left of the page. Click the start button and view the webcast video stream. You will also hear the sound, so if you get feedback between the open mic in your broadcast and the computer speaker, you can lower the volume in the player, never the broadcast console. The viewer page also has a live chat form. This allows two-way conversation between the broadcaster 
and viewers. To use the live chat, type your name and message into the form on the upper right of the screen. It will appear in the chat log in the lower part of the screen, where all can see it. When you are ready to end the webcast, go back to your broadcast console window and click the Stop Broadcast button. That's uh, all there is to it. For more information or to gain access to a broadcast channel, please visit the website at depositionwebcast.com. Thank you.